it's Alexa. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I thought since it's about time for my monthly recap for December, I would do one. I'm at home and I'm comfy. As you can see, I am wearing my Hogwarts hoodie, which I love. If you guys wanna see the back, one sec. It's amazing, honestly. One of my favorite pieces of clothing ever. Okay, so now it's the time to talk about the top five books I read in December. And I'm gonna go through my list, my shelf on Goodreads right here, and tell you which ones I enjoyed the most. Okay, first we have a book by my friend Eric Smith, The Geek's Guide to Dating. That book was so cute. I didn't understand all the references, if I'm being honest, but I still thought it was hilarious and that the, the advice that he gave was actually really useful to anyone, whether you're in a relationship or not in a relationship or want to be in a relationship. Um, I also read The Book of Broken Hearts by Sarah Ockler and oh my gosh, that book was amazing. It kept me up until 3 a.m. It was just so good and I loved how she handled the whole family relationship and that there was a teensy little bit of romance in there. Okay, maybe not so little, but to me it felt like it was little compared to the whole thing with Jude and her father. Uh, the next book that I want to mention is Being Sloan Jacobs, which came out last week. And I just really liked that book. It was such a Disney Channel type book because it had the whole parent trap feel to it. And I just loved that ice skating was a big part of it. Um, then there was Unleashing Mr. Darcy by Terry Wilson because that book was just so fun to read. I don't know. It felt like it came at the right time for me. It was a chiclet book that was kind of like a retelling of Pride and Prejudice, but with dogs and dog shows. So that was really fun. And the last book I want to mention is a sequel. It's Going Rogue by Robin Benway, which is the sequel to also known as, and I loved it. I also stayed up until 4 a.m. reading that book because it made me laugh and I just could not stop reading it. It actually made me smile a lot because it you know, the main character, Maggie, reminds me of my friend Gabby, whom I'm sure a lot of you know. Um, yeah, so those are my top reads for December, and the links to the reviews are down there. Okay, moving on. As always, I will be sharing the books that I hope to get to in January. I actually haven't finished a lot of the ones I mentioned last year, but no worries, I will catch up. I know I'm on a book buying ban and a request ban, so... Right now, all I have to read are the books that I have around me, and that's helped tremendously in getting my piles down a little lower. Okay, so the first book I want to mention is A Mad Wicked Folly by Sharon Biggs Waller, and it sounds fantastic. I've heard a few of my blogger friends talk about this one, and it seems like everyone's pretty much enjoying it, so can't wait. Uh, the second book is a book that I will be reading with a few bloggers. In fact, I pulled up the tweet. Let's see, I'm reading with Raquel, Sharon, Wendy, Betty, and Chelsea. And I am pretty excited because I don't normally read this kind of book, but it looks good. It's Tangled by Emma Chase. Um, romance. That's pretty much all I get from this book and this cover, so yes, excited. The third book I'm reading, or want to read, is... Heartbeat by Elizabeth Scott, which comes out at the end of the month. This is a bound copy that I've had for a while. I just never got around to reading it. Uh, I saw Estelle's review of it recently, and she made it sound really good. I'm curious to see, honestly, how the author handles such a delicate situation in her book. And this last book that I will be mentioning has the most epic packaging ever, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you want to read this one too. It's the winner's curse. Guys, there's a sword. I mean, that's all they had to do to send with it to win me over. Um, but even aside from the packaging, the book itself is so pretty. See? I'm excited because I've heard that the writing in this one is fantastic. And I love a good fantasy. So yes, there is that. Okay, before I move on and tell you guys a few other things, including a list of what I got over Christmas which is actually very little <laughs> when it comes to the books. Um, I want to say that I have been having a lot of crest feels since yesterday because I just finished that book and it is fantastic. I know it comes out next month, but consider this my early endorsement. It is freaking amazing. If you haven't started that series, you better start that series. If you haven't read Scarlet, read Scarlet because I love Wolf. But most of all, just read those first two books just to get to this epic third book, Crest by Marissa Mayer. Um, yeah, so in January, oops, I have to pull it out. 
in January, uh, Bonnie from A Backward Story and I are hosting the Infinite Readathon. Ooh, Infinite, Incarnate Readathon. What is wrong with me? I'm a little too excited for Infinite. Um, yeah, so we are basically reading the whole New Soul or Incarnate Trilogy by Jody Meadows. It is a fantastic series. It's all about this girl named Anna who happens to be a new soul born after a lot of years to a community that had a million souls reincarnated over and over and over again. So I'm excited. And these are my books. ta -da! As you can see, I already started reading Incarnate since our readathon started yesterday. And I have stickies. I'm excited because I love the writing as much as I did the first time and the second time I reread it, so that's a good thing. And then the second book would be Asunder, which was also fantastic. Although it gave me a lot more feels. And the third book, which I'm so excited about, is Infinite. So I have to give a shout out to Jamie at Broken Bookish for... Oh, well, Perpetual Page Turner, technically, but she's also part of Broken Bookish for sending me this copy. So yes, if you want to jo join in on the Incarnate Readathon, whether you have started or haven't started the series, feel free to sign up. I have a link in my sidebar. I think it's that way. Or it's probably going to be that way. I don't know. Um, okay, so for Christmas, I actually only got three books. Can you believe that? First book is from my husband. He sent it to me because the guy that wrote this book is actually the guy who my brother-in-law is named after. It's a Khalil Gibran book, and I've never read anything from him, so I am pretty much looking forward to that. The second book I'm going to mention is from Rachel at Hello Chelly, and it is Let the Sky Fall by Shannon Messenger. I have been intrigued by this one since I read Rachel's review, and I love that it's about elementals, and I'm really excited to read it. And the last book, it's funny because when I opened the package, I literally squealed because I had just been thinking about this book on that day when Estelle of Rather Be Reading gave it to me, and it is Better Nate Than Ever by Tim Federley. And I am excited to read it. I know there's a sequel coming out. So I can't wait to get started on this one and hopefully get to the sequel too. Aside from that, life is pretty much the same over here. Still looking for a job, still fixing things and, you know, being all adult. But I hope you all are staying safe and warm during the cold weather if you're in a place with cold weather. And if you're not, know that I'm very jealous of the heat. Alright, bye guys. Till next time.